Good morning. Yo. Right, we had this conversation on a vlog the other day. like to know how you do that because yeah, I can't do it I can't do that my irons in the studio when I arrive the seven iron goes 150 yeah yeah so like, yeah that's 150 I've just flown it with a nine yeah I would we need to do a video on it because I just want to understand it so my irons are all topping out the same generally and then they're always falling off because I'm just catching it thin like I'm never but you're that's not a knuckle no, that was a nice flight, but you've obviously just presented loft or speed or both, which isn't what you would normally present with a nine. It would be good to understand it. Lots of people in the comments want us to have a little investigation into this. So let's get the talkie. Matt's there and see if we can find what's going on. Oh, my shirt, Mark. He's warming up. We're searching for the Lockie Bomble. We're searching for the beefcake, aren't beef we? Cake. <laughs> what is the beefcake? <laughs> like, it's there when you want it. Yeah. But it's also there when you don't want it. Exactly. Let's find this beefcake. And that's one that I really don't want, that yes. beefcake. Yeah. Oh, that's a bomb. That could be a bomb. Is that long? Not telling you. Uh, just hit, just hit like a series of 20 approach shots. Nothing's left. Okay, I'm going to hit a few now because you've got enough data here. You just stay there. New TV on the screen, look, on the wall. I know, I'm surprised he ain't got the Muppets on there. <laughs> Has he not got a Masters flag around there? Um, so I, you're going to see me warm up a little bit here, but I'm going to hit about 10 irons as well and then we'll just look at like deviations. Should we look at the numbers? Go on then, warm up numbers. So I've got a miss hit in there, which I'm actually going to take out. I'm going to delete shot. Oh, I'm going to delete shot four. Because my point here is when you hit a good shot and you're nowhere near the hull, that's the frustrating thing, isn't it? Yeah. Like you hit, dive at a bad shot, so I'd expect it to go shorter. Yeah, yeah. So I'm averaging 153, 156. So six yards deviation between my shortest and longest. Yeah. Uh, spinning 64, 67, 67, 65, 7. 600 deviation at the most. Um, just, I mean, that's exactly where my seven iron, like, I know my seven iron is a 160 club with a decent hit and I can hit it at 150 easily. Yeah. But I know I'll be on the longer side of the flag generally. Yeah. If we look at session one, so you got a few more hits than me because you were actually a bit more consistent. You didn't really hit a bad one, you hit more good ones, you hit a few toeies. Like, I think these are low more than anything yeah so they were miss hits L yeah okay so you I think okay I d you didn't tell me what i was doing well they so weren't I... that bad oh yeah and if you look at the red one that's your 168 your last one there's what your furthest away from the group is a 168 <laughs> They weren't that bad at all. They were very gameable shots, and you got a 172 in there. Yeah. Down to a 160 with a 7 iron. That's exactly the numbers we see on the course. You're a club longer than me on the course. Half a club to one and a half club longer, depending on the style. If you're hitting it hard, I'm hitting it soft. Mm -hmm. We're up to two. I mean, we can be two clubs different yeah, yeah. in an approach. If I'm going to hit a soft six and you're going to bomb an eight. Yeah. Like, and look at your peak heights, they really jump around from 29, 28, 36. 36. Did mine jump around that much? 
Mm, 32, 34, 33, 34. I mean, it's just more consistent. Launch windows are between, well, tw everything's 20 degrees launch apart from one at 21. If you think about pitching, getting it through that launch window is like key. Launch angles for you, you got a 14. Gee whiz. <laughs> you got a 14 up to an 18. So you can just see the deviation. So your ball speed as well, you got a 123 down to a 116. The first four look are all doing the same thing, aren't they? But yeah. I think this is where I'm better at you at being worse. Yeah. So I'm better at being rubbish. <laughs> Because I'm hitting everything generally okay. Yeah. And then the odd bomb I get in there does it goes like five yards further. Yeah. Where when you hit okay, it's almost 17, 18 yards shorter than when you bomb it. Mm. Which was my point when we played. You need like but I think if I was to hit this shot look. So if I was to hit this shot, so that's my big shoulder turn drawing at 162 mm. I still don't think I'll get the deviation you get but I'm not as good at being bad this way okay so then I will get so I won't get the bomb that goes I won't get like a 180 bomber so there's a fin going 158 so that's two interesting strikes there I'll get my strike because my dots need to be a bit better but See, I now see deviation in height. Yeah. Launch is similar. Ball speed's jumped. That was a better strike. That was a worse strike. And now I'm four yards. Yeah. Deviated. Opposed to five total, six yards total with the other one. I don't think I'd get more than that. Mm. So where was so the other thing as well, I think, is I think my like your strike might jump a little bit more. Yeah, it definitely does compared to you. Definitely. Which is where we're going to see, you know, it all comes back to that. Like, look at the difference there, 28 to 23 loft. Yeah. Yeah, it's massive. Your loft jumps around. And that's what I said in the video, basically. Yeah. It's like you're just not delivering a loft of an I-9. So on I... On one. Angle of attacks aren't jumping around. Path's no. not really jumping. Face is jumping a little. Nought to four closed. Yeah. Is your face naught to four, is it? Yeah, but it's naught at 25 and then four at 23 and three at 28. So, like, gen like you can see patterns that when people do this one, yeah, that loft goes down and face closes, yeah. But my like loft is going down and face is straight, so I'm like doing. Yeah, lots you're of everything, correct. aren't I? And I just can't line everything up consistently. Correct. Which is your you're struggling to deliver loft because you've got different amounts of shaft lean with twist in there yeah. on different shots. Whereas you're good at not putting twists in and throwing clubs out all well, the time. Well I think I'm just good at producing the same each time. Yeah. Trouble is the same isn't very exciting. Yeah. But it's the same. I remember the first pro I ever worked with, Malcolm Craig, great pro. He always said if you could shank it every time, you could still be a good player. Yeah. You just aim over here <laughs> and shank <laughs> it every time. It yeah. doesn't matter what you do as long as you do it every time. Yeah. Um, which has a lot of truth to it still. So I still, if you were like tour player, journeyman in a round and came and said, look, I just, you know, I want to, I just need to be a bit better. Mm. I would, you, you need a pack pack. The only thing that I don't like, I, I, <laughs> this is me being lazy in there. But, but that, I, I, yeah, go on. I, I want to do the same thoughts as with everything. Yeah, well, I made a video on this yesterday. My driver swing is different, different to your iron swing yeah. because they are different tasks. Yeah, yeah. Driver swing, I'm trying to bomb it out there with a level of accuracy. Iron swing, I'm just trying to throw darts because I've got a selection of different lofts I can just pull. Because? Yes, I would rather be further, but I still have the option of different lofts. Yes, because you can remember when like, we did that video at Timmouth and my angle attack with driver was six down. Yeah, 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 yeah. And my irons probably were about ten. Yeah, yeah. But I've shifted to two up now with driver mm -hmm. but my irons are like 
four down but I'm doing my driver swing and I quite like that they're only four and not six and eights and things like that because yeah. I find when I go six and eight my strike gets more inconsistent and I get more finny ones but that might help with not getting the long one so it's like oh Dump. when it all <laughs> up and not practicing yeah <laughs> um is a tough one isn't it yeah I mean I personally with your next three hour session. Yeah, that will last me three months. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would definitely be thinking, right, I'm gonna hit seven irons, maybe little cuts. Yeah. Feel like I'm 80% each time. And can I get them in a hula hoop back and front, mm. distance wise? And then there's a shot. Yeah. As soon as, I mean, if I hit one of those bombles over the back, I'd be very scared on a golf course. But you don't want the bomble to go because it still has its, its purpose. Yeah. Which is why I've got two movements. You saw what I did to that seven iron. I'm 150, 155, and I turned it into a 162 just by aiming right, turning my shoulders flatter, which gave me more of a feel of a draw spin. Yeah. And it just pulled in and went, it goes 10 yards, eight yards further. It's a club further. Because it also makes me think that if I do my practice with my driver swing, I'm going to get that consistency anyway, and then I won't have to think about two things. No, that's, I don't know. That's something you yeah. have to prove. Yeah. That means you have to practice that, more practice. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> it's hard, isn't it, practicing? I know. I know. Because I just want to, like, drive a swing now. Because I feel like I'm getting some control with that swing as well now. Yeah. Whereas if I go backwards to my... What are you doing swing. on them, though? They're like, they're like 139 and 138, those last two. You just not... Yeah, I've fat them a bit. Yeah. Um, and it, <laughs> That if I concentrate, like the things that I'm thinking about is exactly the same as with my driver. I'm like trying to get my club low so my angle attack isn't as down and I'm trying to move path right a little bit. Okay. Um, so it's all the same and they're all drawing. I'm not getting like my wild rights anymore, am I as well on course vlogs? So I like, yeah, okay, I agree. And then like I say again, you need to just put yeah. this to yourself. Myself, and yeah. Um, I like you hitting cut irons. I, uh, yeah. But the trouble is, we've played a lot recently, or we've played a bit recently, where you go, I'm going to cut this and you draw right, it. Yeah. Like, well, that <laughs> means that you haven't got a feather. Yeah, yet. yeah. Because oh. I, like, I just tried to do that then, and my face was too closed with my cut swing. Yeah. Because I'm so used to now, I think, trying to get it and throw it outwards. Yeah. That I can't now feel this feeling. Yeah. But. That's where you need another three hours. Yeah. Put yourself in. I haven't got time. <laughs> Too open. So that's a little cut ball, that's is it? That's a cut ball. How far has that gone? Yeah, 154. So you're more into a realistic... It's making that repeat. And what's that? 6-8 six, spin. Six, eight. 19 launch. 28 six. loft. Like, you can't go presenting 23 lofts. Yeah, I know. That's like, like see you later. Right. If you strike that, yeah, it's miles. That's it? just like bomb ball. Yeah, I like that. Not, yeah, it's trying to, not enough, but how far is that? One so spin axis was only one point, uh, point eight right, and you hit a massive toe. Have my last two been toes? I can't. See, yeah, it has. Yeah, high toe as well. Twenty six loft. Going one five two. Please find that little cut shot, man. <laughs> yeah, but then I stand on the tee with driver and have to do something completely different. Yeah, but two different, different thoughts. You're, you, that's not... <sighs> yeah, if you, you can say it. that. You're you, skilled. You can do I'm it. I'm not. I'm a muppet. <laughs> <laughs> there lies the beefcake. I just feel coaches strike pattern from average to poor to good is too big isn't it and that's why we see that variation you then throw in the odd low loft delivery i mean you get that combined with a strike Whew. you then also throw in any clubs that aren't giving him the most consistent ball flight so you start giving him like a cavity back iron in his mid irons where he could get one high and face low spin high launch block i mean you just and we saw that when he used apex like just crazy distances that he couldn't control sometimes what's interesting for me is the struggle there it definitely relates to strike a bit then in turn then to delivery as well i see matt working on a banker softer 80 percent controlled iron plate and then using his lofts 
So pulling different irons out the bag to try and control distance would be so good. Matt's never been much of a hit more club, hit it soft guy. He's much more hit one to one under, hit it hard. And, you know, all styles work for all players. I just feel... Certainly growing up, if Matt would have learned more to hit the controlled little ones as well as use his bomb balls, he would have more armory now, which is a great message for you guys and girls out there. The more you can understand how far your maxed out goes, how your soft seven iron, how far that goes in relationship to the heights they come in at, those kind of ideas, the more skills you have when you get out on the golf course because the golf course as always is just going to ask so many questions of you and you need as many answers as possible. Post comments down below let me know what you think is it something you struggle from do you struggle from really weak shots when you feel like you struck it well because people I've seen lots of amateurs do the opposite where they present too much dynamic loft on the odd shot and they strike it fine it pops in the air doesn't go anywhere or are you the same as Matt where you get the odd bomb ball and you can't control it hopefully this gives you a few ideas and maybe how to control it that little fadey cut ball for Matt I'd like to see that back in his game definitely. Post comments down below as always don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already daily uploads loads coming see you now i will see you next week next week we're in pebble beach filming sessions and what have you so you're going to see videos from our america trip i'm at the british masters so if you're around there next week you see me come and say hello um so there's loads of great content coming up there with titus doing some interesting stuff on the range with their players um should be a fun week so i will see you next week in some form or another see you later